All right. Today we're going to cover optimal linear quadratic control. Now, this is a follow-up video. Um, basically, in the first video, control state and output feedback control of linear systems, I discussed you know, for stabilization and comment following, I provided state feedback and output feedback controllers and one of the requirement is making some portion of the system Hurwitz, A minus BK or A, A minus LC for the estimation problem. To make it Hurwitz, then I posted this video, control pole eigenvalue placement. And it basically uses pole placement method to, um, you know, to determine your gain matrix K. For example, let's look at here, x that equals to ax plus bu, u equals to minus kx, n by n, n by m, m by n. So we have this closed loop system. We need to make a minus bk Hurwitz, so we use pole uh, placement method. In that method, if you watch that video, so you need to choose for your close of system, since this is n by n, you need to choose n eigenvalues. Now the thing is, as the dimension of the system grows, uh, second order, third order, tenth order, and believe me, I also dealt with, you know, fourth, fourth order systems as well. Um, Pole placement becomes a little bit random. Of course, you need to choose your eigenvalues to be on the left-hand side, but should I choose minus one, minus two, minus three, or should I choose minus two, minus five, minus six? The pole that is closest to the imaginary axis determines your settling time, four divided by whatever that eigenvalue is, but the rest may not be optimal, right? I mean, you know, so, you know, will they consume more energy, more control energy, uh, you know. Um, so it is a good method for low order systems, but it becomes kind of random or hard to uh, place eigenvalues or poles when the dimension increases. Good news, this will help us, this linear quality control will help us in that uh, regard. And I personally use uh, linear quadratic control much more often than pole placement when I deal with, you know, projects, research. Uh, it is just more convenient and uh, saves time and also it is meaningful optimally. All right, so this problem, <coughs> this problem, for this problem we have this so-called linear quadratic cost. This is a minimization problem. We minimize the cost function uh, subject to this constraint, x dot, and this cost function has generally two elements, x transpose qx plus u transpose ru. And here q and r matrices are positive definite. Basically, I will discuss about them. First, let's discuss x transpose qx part of this cost function. This is called state trajectory cost, meaning that as you increase q, and as you make it larger, you basically make, you put more attention, more weight to this term as compared to the second term. And basically this means your state is more important than control. As you increase Q, you will make your states, you will penalize them more, you will make them converge to zero faster. Now, the second one you transpose are you, is called control energy cost. So if you want to penalize your control to use less control actions, increase R, which will reduce the control signals to save energy. So in practice, you can also choose like this. So remember, Q, you can choose it like Q1, Q2, all the way up to Qn. And you can choose R to be R1, R2, all the way up to Rn. You have m number of inputs, n number of states. So for example, if you want your second state to converge to zero faster, 
increase it. If you also want your first state to converge to zero faster, increase it while remaining the rest at uh, their existing values. Same for the R matrix as well. If you want, say, second control channel to penalize, to use less energy, let's say it's an important one like fuel, increase it more uh, to penalize it. So I will explain how I choose this at the end of this video. So now I would like to talk about what is the control, what is the optimal solution of this gain K. As I mentioned, this is an optimization problem. You are minimizing this cost function with respect to this system. And um, I can provide references, or if you want me to do full derivation, I can. Let me know. I just, in this video, would like to focus on the main point, how we use uh, linear quadratic control, or so-called linear quadratic regulator. So I'm going to write a solution. If you solve this optimization problem that I described, your gain K will be R inverse P transpose P, and P satisfying this so-called algebraic Riccati equation. A transpose P plus P A minus P B R inverse P transpose P plus Q. Remember, Q and R are positive definite. And when the system is controllable, same requirement like we discussed here. In this video, remember, if A, B controllable, you can place the poles to wherever you want. Same in here. If A, B controllable and Q and R positive definite, then this algebraic Riccati equation has unique positive definite solution. It can have non-positive non definite solutions as well, but you will only find one um, positive definite solution that you are going to use to construct this gain matrix K. If you want to do this in MATLAB, you can choose P as you using algebraic Riccati equation command. You put A, you put this portion, B, R inverse, B transpose, and Q. It will give you the positive definite unique solution P. If you would like to skip this algebraic Riccati equation process, if you directly want MATLAB to give you gain K, Use the linear quadratic regulator command, put your A, put your B, QNR matrices, it will give you a gain matrix K. That will make A minus BK, A minus BK Hurwitz. All eigenvalues will be on the left half plane of the complex plane. And um, if you remember this video, I also linked, you know, I described uh, basically how you can use this you know pole placement for estimation problem if you would like to make a minus LC Hurwitz for details refer to that video then you can find L using LQR command instead a trans use a transpose C transpose some the different QNR for the estimation problem this will make a minus LC transpose LC Hurwitz don't forget the transpose here and I explain A transpose C transpose and why you need this transpose on this video. In a, you know, similarly, you also need it like you need it in the place command, you need it on the LQR command. Now, moving to the, our original problem, A minus BK, this gain matrix K that you have it here will make all the poles on the left half plane optimally. So instead of you are choosing eigenvalues, like in the pole placement method, you are playing with this cost. Okay, so how I tune, uh, how I use LQR. So I start with this. Let's say you have three um, states. You have, let's say, one input the same story if you have more than three, more than one. I start with the identity matrix for both. And since you have one input, you just have one here. It's actually, for this reason, let's have two inputs. Zero, zero, one. I take, given an A and B matrix, I put them here with this QNR, and then 
I simulate the system, how it performs. Do I like to perform? You know, what is the settling time? Does it overshoot? Let's say I want all of the states. I am not happy about uh, um, your system moves, let's say, very slow. Then I equivalently increase all of them. Let's say 10, 100, wherever necessary. If I am happy about the behavior, I stop. If I want to penalize some states more than others, then, you know, let's say I am not happy. I want X1 to behave, you know, like, you know, reduced overshoot or make it slightly converge faster, you know, penalize some of the states more. Once I am happy, I stop and look at my control history. If my control history is within the acceptable limits and rates, then I stop here and go implement this gain K, resulting gain K. If, if some states are acting, um, you know, satura close to saturation limits, I would like to penalize them and start increasing them. You know, let's say the first control action is about to saturate, I increase it to penalize more. I can do the same thing for the second control channel. And, and of course, this is like these costs compete sometimes with each other. If you increase R, both of them so large, this, you may lose some convergence from here. So you need to play with the simulation. And I will strongly encourage you to do this study. For example, let me erase some portion of this video. Start simple. Take this system, 0, 1, 0, 0, double integrator system, 0, 1, u, u equals to minus kx. Give some initial condition, non-zero, say 1, minus 1. Go simulate this in MATLAB and use this command to minimize that cost function in an optimal way. To start with, in this case, you have one control input, two states. Start with 1, 0, 0, 1, and R equals to 1. Put this A, B, Q, and R matrices inside the execution of the gain K. Simulate it, then play with Q and R along the ways that I try to describe and see the performance. If you want me to make a video on how I tune LQR for, you know, one or more of the control architectures state feedback or output feedback that I described here let me know I can uh, do that and we can go from there as always if you want me to cover uh, any other topics uh, let me know I'm, I will be happy to cover